Hey guys, it's Lizard making a video today showing you how you can make a simple tier, uh, tier center using your Abtec rental posts. So I've got a piece of land here that's a 256 square meter parcel. I took a 512 and cut it in half just to show you that you don't need a lot of space for a tier center. I'm going to start by creating a prim. It's a simple box and I'm going to make it um, make it 10 by 10 by 0.1 and let's kind of scooch that into the middle of the parcel so it looks nice. Oh, what happened to my controls? There we go. And we'll go ahead and change the texture to my logo. Alright, so now we've got a platform that we're going to use for making the tier center. So, now we're going to go ahead and res 12 Abtec rental posts. So you go ahead and do an inventory search for Abtec, you find your Abtec rental, go ahead and res a post, grant the request, and then we're just going to go ahead and make a grouping of them. Let's see, let's kind of move that one that way a little bit. And then we're going to go one, two, three. So you just do a shift, shift and drag to make a copy, right? Let's push them out that way a little bit. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Shift and drag. Shift and drag. And shift and drag. You know, you could squeeze more in, but you don't want to try to squeeze a whole bunch of them into one because you want it to look, for one, you want it to look decent and legible. And for two, if you try to squeeze too many into one parcel, you're going to end up just making a lag mess and you don't want that. Uh, you can be more nitpicky about this if you want and actually edit the numbers for the positions and stuff like that, but just showing you a quick and easy way uh, you can set something up. And this is great especially um, if you have say, you know, let's say you got something like 20 or between 20 and 100 um, customers, so you're not quite to the point where you need to go with um, STX, but you've got enough that it makes sense to start keeping a tier center to where you're actually keeping the um, keeping the posts off the land, so you can actually rent out the full prims on your land. All right, so something like that. Not perfect, but you get the idea, all right? So once you've got those guys all set up, and then what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and select them all. Oh, let's see if you can select them all at once. Yep, like that. And then go ahead and take a copy into your inventory. Now look in your inventory you'll have something that looks like that with all the boxes bunched together. Rename it. Call it Abtec Tier Center. Alright, good for that. Now we can just go ahead and get rid of all that stuff that's on the parcel. Um, do, 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 return. Alright, so let me show you what you got now. So now you've got a new parcel, ready to set up a new tier center. Kind of want to stand on one edge of the parcel. You're going to do an inventory search for uh, Abtec tier center. Just go ahead and take that and drag it towards the middle of your land, like that. Grant the boxes. And you're good to go. So now you've got a dozen tier boxes there, and you can edit the note card 
and give them lot numbers. Um, I actually used to give my name, so I would say like on the land, go pay Pedro or something like that. But we'll just show you real quick. Let's say we've got, we're going to go fourteen ninety five l a week for this one. Max duration, 104 weeks. And we're going to give them 937 prims for that. And we're going to scroll down to where it says rent this place. Instead of rent this place, we're just going to say lot number one and click save and then touch the post and then you can see it says lot number one so then when you go and you place your ad or you set a land for sale let's say this one over here we're gonna make it for rent we're gonna say um, say lot number one, lot number one, 1495L per week. And you're going to tell them what they're getting for that. So this, in this example, it would be a 4096M, 937 prims. They're going to purchase for a 5L plus tier, 1495 a week. And then we'll say something like go to tier center and pay for lot number one. And then when you've got your cube, which you should be using an info cube, something like this. Let's just drag that one over there. So then inside your info cube, you want to have a note card that says how to pay your tier. Now this one is actually set up for my current tier system. But if I was using something like that for how to pay your tier, the note card would have uh, a landmark that would say go over here and look for the post that says lot number one and pay for lot number one. So that's a really easy way that you can create multiple tier centers. Um, here you've got a dozen tier boxes uh, per tier center. Um, and that's, we're in half of a 512. So in a 512 you can make 24 tier boxes easily and they'll be well organized and easy for people to find. Alright, hope that helps. Have fun and good luck.